Well, hi from Gold Art. Um, I want to make a monkey's fist today. It's quite a big monkey's fist. Uh, my core is three and a half inches long by two and a half inches wide. It's that shape because it's going to be the body of an elephant. I've already made the head of the elephant. That's another monkey's fist and it has eight passes all the way around. That's a two and a half inch core sphere inside, made of polystyrene. Again, the one we're gonna to do today is made of polystyrene. The reason I like making things out of polystyrene is they're versatile. I can uh, stick things into them, um, add things, but you'll see as we go along. So today's video is basically how I make a monkey's fist, as I say, when I made this monkey's fist, I made it on this jig. I only did eight turns around each way. I can do slightly more on this one. And you see the jig that I've made has got a top and a bottom. I find it more helpful and more controllable. Some people have jigs without a top. All this is is two pieces of wood and four chopsticks. Multi-hold so that I can actually change the shape of it. This is about the biggest this will go to, two and a half inches outwards. Um, so what we're gonna do is jump straight into it. All we're gonna need for this is a three and a half inch egg shaped uh, piece of polystyrene, two and a half inches wide. We're gonna need 28 inches, sorry, say again, 28 feet of 550 power cord. Um, and the use of some sort of jig. I wouldn't advise even trying or even thinking about making this on your hand or something um, more inferior than this piece of wood and some chopsticks. We grab our cord. We have about six inches to one side. Now I'm going to wrap that round three times. The reason I'm only going three times is I like to take a pin at this stage and off it up through the cords to make it sort of just stay there. There we go. Now I'm what I call more or less hands free. Now we're going to go up this um, 17 times. I'm not going to bore you showing you the whole of the video. I'm going to stop and start in different places. So I'll come back to you when I've done 17 turns up here. Now you'll see that I actually turn the device rather than wrap the cord around. That's to prevent twisting. But I'll come back to you after I've gone up 17 times. Right, so here we are, 17 times I've actually twisted my jig to take up this amount of cord. We're now going to go, um, that is 17 times. We're now gonna go through and back, and back under and out through to the front. So I have got um, a fid attached to the end of this. I just find it easier in the later stages. Excuse me. And we're gonna travel around back to front eight times. Now the art of actually um, doing a good monkey's fist is to keep the twist out of the cord as much as possible in the early stages. As you can see, I've come up through I'm now catching hold of this bottom uh, cord where the pin is at the bottom. What I'm doing now is gonna actually um, do away with the need of the pin, but we'll leave it there for a while. As I say, we're gonna go around back to front and back through underneath forward eight times. So let's see how that goes. I'll come back to you when I got there. 
Right, I'm back with you again. I've just traveled, as I said, eight times, coming through, through to the back, round the back, back up, and through again. Um, and I'm eight times. I, that's where I started. Um, this is where I'm finishing these eight. So I've done 17 around, 18 this way. Now we've got to get some cords going through this way. Um, they don't go outside like the, these ones. They go inside. That's why I needed the fit. So I'm going to take my pin out now, which is no longer needed. And I'm just going to keep my place by sticking that in there just to stop it. Now I'm hands free again. Um, so where we're going to go next, we're going to go down inside here. We're going to come down to the bottom and then go back again. We're going to come up underneath here so that we can come out there. Now, as I say, I've got eight going that way. I want a further eight going this way. So with the fid, I've got my holding space there. I just come down the, the, this side, down through. Hopefully everybody can see that. Just lift those out the way. Now with this um, jig, I can actually move things about a bit, which is allows me to get the fid in wherever I want it. Right, so. We've got that's nice a nice curve. Uh, one I did recently had a big twist on it, so we had to twist it from underneath. But that looks good so far. So we're going to pass that one back here. Bring it round to the back. Go back up through to the top. We're going to bring the bulk down again so that I can get my fid through. Little bit of a twist there, so you can see, that's it. So now you can see that we've gone down through here, come out the bottom, underneath these eight, back up the back, and through, and we've come to the front again, and that will be one complete revolution. So we're going to do that. Um, eight times. That's coming over nice and square no twist to this point. So we go underneath and back up to do the next pass. The whole idea of um, doing a large, well, the art of doing a large monkey's fist is neatness really and lack of twist. Still no twist, that's a nice loop going around the base. Come over the top again. And to keep this video short, I'm going to carry on going from back to front, or front, front to the back, and then from the back back up round. And I'm going to go around eight times. Uh, so I'll click off here and come back when I've done those eight. So there you are. We can take that pin out now that uh, no longer needed. We've gone eight times round from front to back and we've gone underneath the front and we've gone underneath the back but it goes round eight times. So just to recap you need a good jig, 
um, if you make one buy one it's up to you um, you need 28 feet of cord you can see how little I've got left there there will be a fair bit left once we've tightened um, you need an egg shape of two and a half inches in diameter to and three and a half inches in length now for all intents and purposes that is the knot tied so all we do now is remove it from the jig hopefully we can slide it off now the longest part of tying this knot really is the tightening I just like to take a couple of seconds to make sure that everything is as neat as possible there we go now I like to actually start tightening the ones that we did in the first instance the 17 times around so what I do is I get that six inch tail take it to one side just hold it with my finger we're then looking at which one we should actually tighten first ignore this with the um, with the uh, fit on it we're going to find out which one we want to tighten and you can see that that one is that one so we're going to tighten very slowly go to the next cord very slowly next cord it's nice and neat keep them nice and neat and we've let go of this one because we're we've got a bit of grip on the inside at the moment now we're not pulling at all tight we're just actually shaping up the knot slowly but surely we're going to take out some of the slack just keeping it nice and square. Now I'm going to travel along tightening, tightening these 17 up and we get towards the end. Just before we get to the end, I'll come back to you. Right, we're about halfway through this um, amount of 17. I thought, well, you, people need to see how it's actually just placed rather than tightened. So we're just slipping the cords around and they're, and they're slowly taking the shape of the egg. Um, later on in this video, I want to show you um, the finished article of what I'm trying to achieve. Um, and this video will lead on to a few others if people are interested in how to make the whole project of, um, well, it's, it's, not, it's gonna be an adult elephant. I've made a Jude Junior Elephant, which I'll show shortly, but um, this one's going to be slightly bigger, and I'd like to see some tusks on this one, um, as opposed to, as I say, being a juvenile elephant with big um, blue eyes. This one might have a little bit of um, adulthood about it, but we'll have to see how it comes out might end up as another juvenile elef elephant. We're getting close to the end now and as you can see it gets a bit messy just towards the end. Don't worry about that and don't worry about any of the cord looking as though it's loose around the sides or anything like that. It'll all come good in the end. But as I say well, all we're doing at the moment is just following through tightening up those 17 passes around the two and a half inch circumference. Now we're probably going to have to do at least two lots of tightening. Um, maybe three. But uh, it's really down to how you want it to look. Um, I did this video once before and lost it down to my naivety about tech. So this is my second attempt at making this on a video. Right, we're getting a little bit um, tight at the, the end here now. 
but you can see that they all will actually go. Right. There is a temptation because you're on screen to actually force things a little bit um, and it doesn't, doesn't go well with a large monkey's fist. Right, we're coming towards the last pass now of the 17. You can see it's starting to take shape. We've got lots of loose cords around. But um, yeah, we've come to the end of that end of that 17 now. So we've come all the way up here tightening. Well, just placing really. Now the next one, it changes, changes direction and it comes back this way into the first of the eight that go round. Now it's essential that we don't tighten that first one up too much or um, misshape the whole leg. Then we come down and again slowly tighten up. If you see them twisting just twist them back out again. Light twist in that one. Inevitably, there's going to be some twist at some point. Um, and as I say, I've tried to eliminate most of that by the way that I use my jig. to flick off now until I get to the end of these eight and I'll show you where we go from there. Right we're just coming up to the end of those for that, that, that set of eight uh, and I wanted to come in here now so that I can show you that we're going to ch change direction again and on this one you can see that with these are still loose so I know that as we go back into this, it's gonna come back down to this one. So we've come up the last one. We know that it's gonna come out here, so we can pull the slack through there. Don't pull too tight on that one, or else we'll actually misshape it. So now we're gonna actually be tightening top to bottom. I'm just thinking I hope I got the fast forward mode on my iMovies. I'm not learned how to do it at the moment but I think I might have to because I'd rather show more than less. But this is still the first uh, tightening all the way around so we're not putting any force into this just finding its shape. And I am still debating in my head whether I should have actually put more cord onto the ball. Um, I've made one of these as I say in the past and I had a 18 passes going around this way um, but I thought this one we could get away with 17 and the other difference was the ones that we're doing at the moment there's eight of them on a previous one I made that nine but again I don't think it's really necessary so we've got 17 passes eight passes and eight passes I think we'll be okay with that twist there, take that one out, see that there's a bit of twist in here as well so I'm going to have to watch out for that one, now where have we gone, there, so I'm going to 
start twisting now slightly. Not too bad at all. See that there's a twist in there, that's going to have to come out. So we're going to start twisting now. Once we finish this tightening, we're going to shape it up a little bit so that we don't lose any of the work we've done so far. Getting close now to the completion of the first tightening. got away with quite a lot this time. I mean, uh, making monkey's fists, you can be plagued with this twist. But um, as I say, I've tried to alleviate as much as possible by the way that I tie the knot. So there we go. That is one tightening of the monkey's fist. Just want to make sure that everything's more or less in shape. Still quite a few bit of flex all the way around. So the next one we're going to do, the next tightening we're going to do is exactly the same as the first. So we're going to pass this end over here and we're going to find that that's the one. There's a little bit of slack and we're going to be a little bit more forceful this time around. Not too much because we're going to lose the shape otherwise. What I like to do is actually chase the cord, like so. Bring that round, keep a bit of tension on it. I'd rather tighten up just a little bit and do a third tightening if I have to because you can lose the whole shape and as I said the core of this is quite flexible um, I'll just show you um, so this shape now this is what's inside this one's had cord on it and you can actually see the grooves so that's how much give there is that's with two, two tightenings around this egg. So you could go three and the cords bite in more. So as you can see, it actually shrinks the egg. You might think, well, we just stand with all of that, but I like it. I, I don't mind if things turn out a little bit smaller than what I wanted them. Um, if it's just a couple of mil or something like that. And plus, I find that with this core, things don't, don't slip so easily. Now, as you can see through those cords, 
there's no, there's no chord here. So perhaps you might think, oh, I need 12 across there or 10 across there coming down through. But the aim is to actually cover the egg. And I think the amount that I've got going here is probably enough to the cover the whole thing. It doesn't all have to be double covered. Now I'm gonna actually carry on to the end now. So I'm gonna click, click the video off and come back towards the end and we'll see where we are then. Right, we're just coming up to the end of those 17 passes, um, tightening them up for a second time. Um, you might think, oh, I'm seeing too much egg. Uh, there's bits of egg in here, there and there, but what you've got to remember is that's got to be tightened, that's got to be tightened, and it all takes its shape. So we've come around 17 times, tightening a second time. It's going to go back through here, down through there, for a second tightening. So we're going to be a little bit more forceful with it this time. Remember what I said with those grooves on the on the actual polystyrene. It's got give. But also, you can take up on it, so it's quite good in that way. Shape. Why, why doesn't he get rid of that piece with the fit on? Well, I'm going to be needing some of that later for the project that I'm doing. Don't like that twist. This all comes together in the end. I think that's our eight now tightened up. Yep. So we get to here. <clears throat> oh, we've got one more. The other side. Let's just go get that one out of the way. 
Now we're gonna change direction again. Direction is down through here. Sorry about the background noise of uh, grinding. I had to wait for, before I could make this video about ooh, an hour because my next door neighbor was, uh, well, doing what he does. Quite a bit of noise. But I think that's somebody two or three houses away. So not too bad. I'm not liking that too much. I must admit, um, and for that reason, I'll probably have to go around tightening a third time. But I'll, I'll do that off screen and come back and show you the full result. Because you've got, got to remember that it's narrower at this end than it is that end. And you have to play around with it with tensions a little bit because it's so big. Um, I'd liked all of those up on the top. These are nicely down the bottom. I'd like those on the sides, which they're not too bad at all actually. But uh, we're getting there, so I'll just carry on tightening this one up. quite strong art hands to actually have a go at one of these. So that is a complete tightening. Um, 
I'm fairly happy with that. It's a matter of, as I say, covering the whole thing so that you don't see any of the polystyrene underneath. There's a few places that look a little bit, uh, well, maybe. I suppose if I'd used a grey egg, it wouldn't really matter. Not that I've got a grey egg. Um, well, I'm going to, you can see, I, I, I did quite tighten those quite heavily going around that way. And what actually happens is it loosens these up. So another tightening at least halfway. Well, here we are with uh, the tightening after three turns around. It's not perfect. It's good enough for what I want. Um, as I say, this is going to be the elephant's body. Uh, the head being like so. The idea is that we finish up with something like this. As I said, this is the uh, junior. Um, I would like to come up with something a little bit more adult, say about that height, a couple of tusks. Um, yeah, I'm hopeful. So join me for my next video when I'm going to start making these uh, angels wings. There's a total of one, two, with the grey and the pink, three, four, five, that's a gutted one, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have um, a go at making eight angels wings. Um, I've kept a little bit of cord on the head so that we can loop in a mouth. Um, we're going to be making a snake um, knot. Well, it might, might change the knot for the uh, adult's uh, trunk. We'll have to see about that. A little tail and then we'll make the legs as well. So join me again on Cord Art for the next video. I won't say it will be the last one. We'll probably have to make this in three videos. But thanks a lot. Bye-bye for now.